you're watching a Newsmax special with Dick Morris about its newest bestseller, Power Grab, Obama's dangerous plan for a one-party nation. My fellow Americans, tonight I'd like to talk with you about immigration. When I took office, I committed to fixing this broken immigration system. And I began by doing what I could to secure our borders. Meanwhile, I worked with Congress on a comprehensive fix. And last year, 68 Democrats, Republicans, and Independents came together to pass a bipartisan bill in the Senate. It wasn't perfect. It was a compromise. But for a year and a half now, Republican leaders in the House have refused to allow that simple vote. Now, I continue to believe that the best way to solve this problem is by working together to pass that kind of common sense law. But until that happens, there are actions I have the legal authority to take as president, the same kinds of actions taken by Democratic and Republican presidents before me, that will help make our immigration system more fair and more just. Tonight, I'm announcing those actions. What is the deal with Obama and all of his executive orders? Uh, we are not just going to be waiting for legislation in order to make sure uh, that we're providing Americans uh, the kind of help that they need. Uh, I've got a pen and I've got a phone. Uh, and I can use that pen to sign executive orders uh, and take executive actions and administrative actions that move the ball forward. We all assume that when Obama issues these executive orders that what he's trying to do is to implement his policies without congressional approval. And of course, that's a motivation. But the main motivation is fundamentally to change the Constitution by practice to transfer power from the legislative branch to the executive branch, to make us more like Britain and less like the United States. And the reason he does is that he realizes that the left will win general elections for president routinely, especially if we permit him to complete this process of addicting America to entitlements and flooding the nation with illegal immigrants. So it makes sense to transfer power from the legislative branch, which the Democrats may not always control, to the presidency, which they hope they always will be able to control. Dick, Obama seems to be obsessed with the environment. Why? This is the way that an authoritarian government becomes a totalitarian government one that dominates the governing structure becomes one that dominates your entire life. And they do so in the name of climate change and global warming. Uh, years ago in the 1960s, the Club of Rome was formed. There was an organization that still exists that has a statutory 100 person membership. And it's composed of most of the major formal leaders of the world. And their goal is global governance. And they said that the only way you can achieve global governance is by creating a global problem that can only be solved by a global solution that overcomes national boundaries because the world has to act together. And they originally thought overpopulation would be it, but it turned out that was not a problem, so they seized on climate change. Now, the fact of climate change is for 17 years, there's been no climate change in the world. It's been absolutely flat went up a lot of increase in warming in the 80s and 90s, but since 1997, none. So it's really becoming increasingly a phony issue. But nevertheless, they're using it to try to regiment the world. And they're using a blueprint that was developed in 1992 at the Treaty of Rio, uh, the Rio de Janeiro Conference on Global Environmental Issues. And they issued something called Agenda 21, which was a series of goals for environmental land use, utility regulation, and all other aspects of our lives that would move against climate change. Obama's environmental regulations are designed to get into our everyday life. Uh, for example, electrical meters. Obama wants to replace your electric meter that says how much electricity did you use with what they call a smart meter. And in fact, in California, they require smart meters. And uh, homeowners are often resistant. And when they're out, the company will come in and put in a smart meter in their, in their home. What's the difference? A, a smart meter regulates where you're using the electricity and when you're using it. 
It says which room of your house, which socket in your house is using electricity, at what time of day, and what for. And it will lead to pricing of utility rates to tell people when they can and when they can't use their electricity. But there's a more important thing that, that lies behind all of this. Obama wants to control American business. The only way to do that is by controlling their energy output. If Obama has his way, every manufacturing company, every energy producing company will need the government's permission to operate. And the idea is that therefore the federal government can use that power to regulate every aspect of our industrial society. Every power plant, every manufacturing product, every business, every school, every home, by using the power to regulate electricity to require them to conform to the Agenda 21 requisite that he's set up. In the next segment, Dick Morris says the internet is key to ending political debate in America and why Obama's policies threaten our freedoms. Stay tuned, make sure to get your copy of Dick Morris bestseller, Power Grab, available at bookstores everywhere, or check out our free offer at Newsmax.com forward slash power. Millions of Americans are turning to Newsmax TV on DirecTV 349, Dish 223, and Verizon Fios 115. Online at NewsmaxTV.com, Roku, or Google TV with our free app from your iPhone or Android. So watch Newsmax TV now.